Yeah. He spoke. He broke everything down, but just okay. like in five minutes, he was done. Everybody thinks music, but the human rights side is even it's bigger. It's yeah, bigger. It's bigger. You know, I didn't know because of him they signed some laws. Absolutely. And, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing, huh? Wow. You have to be really. <laughs> but but it, it's totally this makes me clue in even more about why it's so why this insidious need to keep us separated this insidious insane need to not bring things people together, together. Yeah, yeah. it makes I mean it just makes complete sense to to compartmentalize color <laughs> it's the craziest thing you've ever heard in your life you're going to compartmentalize color <laughs> and from me I mean, knowing the history of like slavery, like white right, people want to do things to finish, not to talk about it. That's the but bro, the damage is so, so big. It's never going to be done. It's going to be always like it, it's going to get better little by little, but not never settle. Because, bro, you don't take the human being from his land and take him like thousands of lives and then take everything from him. Yeah. His name, his soul, his like everything. Yeah. Bro. And then hundred years later you want things to be okay? No. <laughs> right. You want to just it's, clear it's, it's it. A, it's gonna be always a problem. Sometimes I see some brothers acting like crazy. That's what it is. It's not their fault. That's right. You have to know why. Hello? And this is part of why the reason why the Trinity, why me, that brother, turn this camera so we can see oh, that uh, brother uh, are together. Uh, 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 uh. Because, and that's why our song, uh, uh, uh. One Nation, is okay. unbelievably powerful. Mm -hmm. so it's powerful so not because it's, it's true, it's a great song, and we wrote the yeah, song, and we were inspired to write a great song. But the idea of it being one nation, what it does is it takes mm -hmm. away all the compartmentalizations of things that have been put into okay. place to deter us to the truth. Right. That we are earthlings, that we are all earthlings, that we are greater than anything that we can compartmentalize or imagine. One nation allows that to happen. So, everybody, together. There you go. That's right. My brother, mama, dude. You, know, you said it. You angry sometimes because of brothers course. doing foolish things. But it makes sense. Killing. It, it makes sense, man. Makes sense. I'm not giving an, ex an no. excuse. It's You're giving a bad story. Yeah, because if you hear a story, don't hear only the front story. Whoa, whoa. The back story. <laughs> no, because the back, that's what. The, 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 the front is the result. The back is whatever you said. Is the cause. Yeah, it's the cause, man. It's the cause. The back is the cause. You know? And to be in a space like you, I'm so glad you it's said that. Take generations. To say, like, oh, let's just wipe it away. How no, you gonna no, wipe no, that no. away? No. Are, we, are, we, are we going better? How can you do better? Yeah. Here's the thing to me. You want to talk about this is bad, this is bad, but you're not even talking about the, they're not, they don't talk about the economic part of it. They don't talk about the psychological, the sociological, the religious part of it, mm -hmm. the spiritual aspect of what they've done. That's all of these things. And I love, I love what you, how you said it. You take, you take people from the land, and you don't even talk about the disconnect that you've made. You are the only person, aside from myself, that I heard speak in terms of a, the, the code, the DNA code that remains. I mean, people have said it, but you and I are in the room, and you literally looked at me, and you broke it down, literally in two minutes. That's true. That and I was me. like, okay, he don't, have, he don't have to say nothing else to me anymore. You got it. You got it. And this, and look at what else they do. They, you bring people into the United States of America. How we have, we have black folk who are so angry and so mad that they can't even talk to the African brothers and sisters. We have to have that conversation. I have, I have, they, one, I have been asked, man, is that true? You guys don't like us. Mm. That's wrong. They told you that. They said, well, that's what you know. They said you guys sold us here. <laughs> You know, those guys don't like us. 
Man, I had an hour conversation with that guy. And I had to go somewhere. But I said, you know, if I have the opportunity, even one guy, because that one guy gonna talk to his mom or his dad. I saw this guy from Africa. We had a great conversation. That's the white people, that's how they set it up. Mm -hmm. If they ask what happened, oh, these people don't like you, that's why we, we you know, and we, everybody so roots the movie. You have no choice, man. Hey. They come in here with guns and stuff, grab whoever they can grab, and then them. You see the roots, when we saw it here, mm. bro, it was the biggest revolution. In a revolution happened. I told this to KJ and some of my other friends from the US. You, huh? you found your keys? The movie. Oh. People were so angry. They started chasing white people. <laughs> no, white people <laughs> have to hide. Also, they even, like, really, there was people who died. Yeah. People walking all over the streets. Just like Black Lives Matter, they singing. Ask Abdi. We were all here. That movie has a big impact on them. Oh yes. I say, how can you be like, you know, you feel like that? And you know, when you get there, well, if you see movies here, it's fine. You see Eddie Murphy, all that. You see that, but you don't realize when you put your foot in, when you get in in the U.S. Go to Harlem or Bronx, man. Even you, like coming from here, you say, man, this is it. slavery was really real. Look at all these black folks. Yeah. Sometimes someone looks like your cousin also. Yeah. But the mind yeah. is a different. Like it's so different from Completely. me because it's something's been taken away. Absolutely, absolutely. But you look. That's the thing, I mean, I'm looking at Abdu and I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> wow, he looks like the Phillips family at home. Yeah. The shape, how he sits, no, all no. of this. So you see the connection of things. It's, it's just <laughs> ridiculous. Slavery. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, I'm shocked. Mm -hmm. When you come here being a black American, you're you, you like kind of shocked because you realize, man, you, it's like a movie going through your head. Mm -hmm. Because Marlon is saying, I see some people like, they may be my cousins. Wait, my cousin? Well, because like, I see people just like yeah, me. Yeah. First time you I came to New York, I had the same impression. Uh, you see that? Uh, uh, you see what I'm saying? The connection, the you DNA code like, you talk about. This man looks like, you know, the man, our grand, the same, to Medina, I think. It was uh, like, we realized that, we were like, slavery was, was really real. Yeah. Because, was you know, it's, it's, <laughs> It's one thing experiencing mm -hmm. like the, 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 the change, mm -hmm. but man, when you look at the emotion, it comes emotion in the <laughs> Oh, it's not this worldwide known. We went to Gore, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, yes. Listen, well, that's where we're going Monday or Tuesday? Monday or Tuesday. No, no, yeah. Listen, listen, you know, he's <laughs> half crazy. He's always <laughs> laughing. <laughs> Bro, we get there, started visiting, and there is a guy, so good. He's telling you the story like this happened today. That's mm. how you're gonna feel. Mm. He's just telling it right the way it is. Bro, and there was some guy, he's a, some white guy, friend. Mm. His kids started thinking they're in the playground. He <laughs> kind of turned around and man, scream. I, even me, I was shocked. <laughs> because I told the guy, man, you, you, you need to tell these kids to shut up because this is the, this is not a playground. Right. You know. Respect. Respect. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, go, Cornell, when Cornell was went there, bro, he was so angry. Mm -hmm. He was sitting like this drinking whiskey and talking for hours. Me, Cornell did uh, Cornell. Mm -hmm. me, me, oh, man, me, I got to be ready for this now. Mm -hmm. I gotta be ready. No, bro. He was like, and sometimes you see they have to break fight, like you know, sure. they, when there's white people there, of course, some some brothers. Yeah, yes, yes. You see some reaction. Some people have to say, man, they, they have to do to, you know, it, uh, it's it's crazy. I'm getting emotional now. I'm just thinking about. Oh it. no, it's bro. Like, it is. It, it, it is. Wow. 
So no this is irre irreparable. That's it. It's, it's, I think so. You can repair this man. Mm -mm. The damage is done. No, Ikram, seriously. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, man, look at these brothers. They're crazy. Man. Why are you killing each other? It's the damage, yeah. It's, it's that. It's, it's going to take. And the crazy thing is, I think a lot of it, a lot of it, particularly old generational wealth in Maryland, mm -hmm. in, in the United States of America, they know that was the intention. That okay. old generational wealth knew if we break this, if we break this, there's no coming back. It's, yeah. it's too many generations but below. At the same time, I'm thinking, did they knew that what they were doing, these people? Yes, they did. But, but they didn't expect. They didn't expect us to survive. Yeah, and, and they, whatever the, the results of this, like, this connect between white and black. They would think maybe after 50 years things would be Yeah, that's wrong. what I think they think. I think they thought. That's why I'm, I'm saying, man, it's going to take, I don't know how many generations. No? I don't know. <laughs> you know?